As both Sony and Microsoft starts to gear up to release some massive exclusive games, confusion starts to pop up around the labeling of timed exclusives such as Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The lie. That is what the Sith believe. They promise power. Now they wield it. We face the greatest Sith in generations. They must be stopped. Welcome everybody and thank you for joining me. So today I want to talk about exclusives on PlayStation and Xbox or at least the way exclusive games get labeled. Now before I go further I would just like to quickly address something. As most people know this is an Xbox centric channel where I do my best to cover Xbox related news. However when it comes to Xbox news lately there has just been nothing going on. There is plenty of rumors and speculation but I think those who have been watching for a while know how I feel about covering rumors. I'm not above covering rumors and I always enjoy going over them now and then but I try my best to cover confirmed news as far as I can and lately it is just dead which obviously becomes a problem for a person who wants to grow and upload daily. So because of this I am going to start to cover general gaming news as well. This channel will still remain Xbox centric and I am going to try my best to upload exclusive Xbox news on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays but in between I will also cover other gaming stories. With that said let's get back on the topic of this video and talk about exclusive games specifically when it comes to the confusion around exclusives. Now this topic was kind of inspired by a Tom's Guide article called PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X exclusives are a confused mess and I am sick of it. Now for those who might be unaware Sony had a showcase not too long ago and as part of that showcase they had a trailer for Star Wars Old Republic. Now when they showed off this trailer because of the labeling a massive amount of confusion started to pop up around exclusivity. Due to the phrasing at the show it looked like the game would be a timed exclusive however a tweet from them later suggested that it could be a permanent exclusive only for them then to come out and confirm that it will in fact be a timed exclusive. Now all of this obviously gets done for promotion motion purposes and Sony is far from the only company that does this. With Bethesda games now falling under Xbox Studios we still do not know if any of those Bethesda games will actually be exclusive to Xbox or not. Fans of franchises like Fallout, Elder Scrolls and Doom are eagerly awaiting to hear from Xbox and in my opinion it is not hard to just give the people an indication as to what is going to happen for these planned future titles. This is something that Tom's guide also points out. I see no reason why when a game is announced by either Sony or Microsoft or any other gaming platform holder, the exclusive status of the game cannot instantly and very clearly be explained. When Knights of the Old Republic remake was announced, would it have really taken away from the excitement around its reveal for the message to pop up on the screen, clearly laying out that Knights of the Old Republic remake? remake would be an exclusive to PlayStation 4x amount of time. It certainly wouldn't have affected my enjoyment of the trailer. And I think that is obviously correct and obviously the same can be said about some pending Bethesda titles on Xbox. I get that you don't want to jump the gun and test the waters but oftentimes companies withhold it for marketing purposes instead of other more relevant reasons. Being aggravated by the way mega corporations choose to label video games exclusives might seem like a very small thing to care about but it serves no benefit to the player for the companies to refuse to be upfront about this issue. I'm not foolish enough to overlook the fact that Sony and Microsoft might be intentionally vague for marketing purposes. It serves the PlayStation brand well if players mistakenly assume that Knights of the Old Republic remake is only ever going to be on PlayStation 5. Likewise when Microsoft isn't clear 
with consumers. It is time that both Sony and Microsoft were consistently clear and told players exactly what the situation is when it comes to exclusives. Now unfortunately this is something that I do not see changing anytime soon but some more clarity on this matter would be nice. But anyways this is where I'm going to end it. So if you enjoy this video be sure to hit that like button. If you would like to see more videos like this please consider subscribing and as always please remember to stay safe, wash your hands, don't touch your face and I hope to see you again soon.